You guys wanted a follow-up to the Alpha Male Boot Camp for Kids? Well, here it is. The modern-day night project for adult men that costs $18,000 for 75 hours of just straight-up torture. And remember, those aren't my words, those are theirs. Some would consider torture, but I would look at his opportunities. Such a beautiful way of putting that. You know, the Geneva Convention would have went down an awfully lot different if uh, Bedros Killian was in that room. We're not gonna torture your citizens per se, we're gonna give them opportunities to be tortured. What was that? Shut the fuck up. This video will be a little bit more relaxed and off the cuff than usual because I really wanted to get it to you quickly and not because I signed two brand deals in two weeks. Hey, wait, that kind of reminds me. Hey, you, are you often feeling stressed, fatigued, or can't focus? Of course you are, you watch my dumb ass. God, if only there was a tiny little flavored orb of sorts that could ease these plights. Well, we're in luck with today's sponsor, Neuro. Well, we're in luck with today's sponsor, Neuro. Today's sponsor, Neuro. Today's sponsor, Neuro. Neuro's different gums and mints are made to energize, calm, and focus your mind whenever you need it. These aren't some ineffective mystery supplements. These are specially formulated mints and gum designed to give you a clean burst of energy and focus without the jitters of coffee or energy drinks. My roommate has been using Neuro for months now for his real job and got me hooked on them as well, which is why I was very happy to work with them because I actually use them. You've got three different types. My favorite being energy and focus made with natural caffeine, L-theanine, and B vitamins to focus your mind and provide mental endurance. Healthy caffeine mints and gum, if you will. And then there's the calm and clarity mints as well as the health and vitality mints, which probably do what you think they do. And if you use my link in the description below, you can get up to 30% off your order today. So fuel your body the smart way and stay in the zone by using Neuro Mints and Gum. First try. And thank you, Neuro, for sponsoring this video. All right, let's start by taking a gander at the Modern Day Night Project website. My name is Bedros Killian. I'm the guy people go to when they want to fast track their goals and growth, become more effective leaders, scale their businesses, and reach their fullest potential. But I wasn't always this guy. I was short-tempered. I was out of shape. I used meds and alcohol to escape and avoid my reality. I felt like a hypocrite, and I was sick and tired of faking my way through life and fighting that inner battle that I was losing. But it doesn't mean it has to stay that way. You can flip the switch on your life too. And in 75 hours, you can become the man your lady fell in love with, the man you want your son to grow up to be, the man you want your daughter to marry. That one's weird. And the man who knows how to create financial freedom for his family. I find that last sentence so funny, like, we're gonna help you create financial freedom, just give us $18,000 and we'll get you there. Yeah, look, don't worry, we're gonna get you that college fund for your kid, just wire us over what you currently have saved up for them. Do you not wanna be rich? Sell your 2017 Toyota Corolla, toss us over the proceeds, and we'll help you get there. Like, can we just call this a scam outright? $18,000 a person for a boot camp that barely has any overhead? Mud is free last time I checked, and I check often. The best defense they can give for it, ironically, is the liability insurance cost, which just makes them look terrible in a different regard. But in the contract you sign before you do the course, it's just release after release of liability. So do they even need that much insurance when you've already signed your life away? But Gunner, it's just precautionary. It's for people that have issues beforehand, or maybe someone tries to exaggerate an injury to get paid out. It's not like they're actually trying to kill people. I've literally done my best, everything in my fucking power, to kill every single one of you. Never mind. I am literally trying to kill you right now. No, I don't think you understand. I want you dead. Uh, later in the course, I'm gonna unsheath my katana and just slice your head right off. Then I'm gonna shoot your body, I'm gonna drop a grenade in it, and I'm just gonna watch for fun. I'm gonna film the whole thing, send it to your family. It's gonna be a really good time. And the dudes in the lineup are trying to keep a tough face on, like, I could take it. Kill me. End my life, Commander. I'm your bitch. I mean, I'm your man. I mean, I'm a man. I will do everything you say. Tell me to jump off a bridge. Done. I paid $18,000 to be here. Done. And I make fun of them, but at the same time, it is pretty sad, right? This course preys on guys who are weak enough to think that the only way they can get their manhood is by being given it from another man abusing them. Fuck you all. Sick of this shit. I don't give two fucks. Shut up. Stop rolling your fucking eyes. Stop asking for fucking electrolytes and be a fucking man. Okay, what the fuck is unmanly about wanting electrolytes when you're working out? Please, go ahead, explain it to me. Maybe I'm just stupid. The funny thing is that I don't even think the instructor's version of what a man should be would tolerate this treatment. Say this was Ray Cash Care yelling at another Ray Cash Care. Would he just sit there and listen to himself, or do you think they would just both start swinging at each other? Newsflash, no one can give you your manhood. <laughs> Only you can develop into whatever gold standard you have for being a man through adversity over time, and 
it'll be a constant battle your entire life because the ideal doesn't actually exist. That's why it's called an ideal. But these guys will have you think that $18,000 and 75 hours of torture will fix that right up for you. Have any of us tried therapy? <laughs> no, that's gay. We're definitely not stuck in a trauma loop right now. <laughs> And that was a lesson, I suppose? <laughs> you guys are fucking pussies. You should be more like me. Short-tempered, angry, and emotional. Fight me! I guess I just keep questioning why the scare tactics on top of the workout. It does nothing but make them feel inferior to the instructors, which seems counterproductive to their own goals. I just feel like it's these videos of the constant shouting in another man's face that look so goofy with the context that they're paying this ridiculous sum of money and we're like in a Home Depot parking lot. You start moving when no one told you to go over there. Were you fucking charging me? It looked like you were coming at me. Why the fuck did you start moving? My team oh, you did, did you? Yes. Then why the fuck are you standing in my face? I was just trying to do the exercise you told to do. You really wanted to help your team. It doesn't look like it to me. Coming over to do it. Where the fuck are you going? Get the fuck back over there. Go. Fucking Go. run Go. past Go. me. Go. Get the fuck over here. Go. Does the instructor here even know why he's yelling or is he doing it just cuz? It looks like the guy was trying to do whatever exercise they were doing, but he wasn't sure whether to start or not or something. It's actually so often the case in these videos that it just seems like nobody knows what's going on. One wolf, nine sheep. Fucking seat. Take the seat. Take directions. Follow when you must. Follow when you must. Not at all. Then why the fuck are you doing it? Take a fucking seat. Why are you leaving your team? Everybody get the fuck up right now. Let's take go. Take a fucking That's seat. I'm going to fucking bury your entire team if you don't take a seat. I will bury your I will stay out here with them fucking naked all night crawling the pit so they all quit. Take a fucking seat. Is that what you really think you should be doing right now? Is that what you feel like doing right now? Why the fuck are you on your ass? Why the fuck are you on your ass? And if you fuckers get up, I will fucking crush you. You go over there, I will Let's go, get up, let's go! Let's go! I will fucking crush you if you get up. Go, right now. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Get up! Let's go! I don't know, what am I gonna do? Like, what was the right answer? I'm confused. Follow your orders, don't follow your orders, only follow orders when your team's at risk, or do what you want, fuck the team. I don't even feel like you know what you want them to do. And hold on, you thought I was gonna let that one line slide? What are you gonna stay up for? I will stay out here with them fucking naked all night, crawling the pit so they all quit. Take Sus threat there, Steve. The more I've watched these courses, the more confident I am that they've strayed so far away from their stated goals. You know what it reminds me of? It's like the Stanford prison experiment where they've had a bunch of college guys pretend to be cops and prisoners and on like day two they were brainwashed enough to consider it being their reality. It's the same thing here. The instructors think they're gods to the point where in this clip they're just playing fetch for him like they're his dogs. This is not a fucking team deal. This isn't a trick. This isn't a joke. I want one person to bring me this ball back. A hundred percent, this is in fact a joke. How the hell do you come back to your wife after this and say, honey, I've become a man now. Instructor Steve threw the ball and I got it and I returned it to him really fast. You understand me? I'm a man. I touched on this in the last video, but there's also like very cultish undertones to this. A lot of preachy us versus them mentality. Too many fucking people want to be led. Not enough fucking people want to lead. That's why we have the fucking situations in this country we have. Everybody is waiting to be led. Nobody's coming to fucking save you except the man to lend the right to you. Fuck them all. Fuck the people in your life that don't, don't need to be there. Even if it's your father or your mother, fuck them. You don't need them. You got us. You don't fucking need them anymore. Hardest fucking class, coldest fucking class, right fucking here. So they have a tribe. Most men are islands now. Right. Again, part of the opposition's goal is to make men islands because if we're a tribe, we're more dangerous. And so I created tribes of men to come together. The opposition? What are you, creating an army? Your glorified 30-year-old-older frat is gonna lose, you know, 
to our to our actual army. And look, I'm not saying you can't get something out of the MDK project, maybe a better new perspective on life and your masculinity, but it will ultimately be hollow because you got it from somebody else and three months from now, you'll run into the same issues again. That's the scam part, acting like they can fix all their problems in 75 hours through torture. <laughs> No. <laughs> this is a band-aid and a much bigger problem in these guys' lives that unironically should probably be treated with therapy. I said it. <laughs> And it's so weird because I think Bedros even agrees with me. The project was really created to help men overcome their trauma. And so I created tribes of men to come together. And when they do, so even though the project is 75 hours of emotional, mental, and physical hell, the real experience of the project is about four and a half hours of an exercise I put these men through, journaling exercise, and then talking exercise called toxic cognitions. Interesting. And so we journal out what happened to us as kids or whenever that, uh, that trauma was, what blocks it causes, what self-sabotage it causes, how it shows up in our marriage, in our business, in our health, in our fitness, etc. And then what are right. our... I mean, so the project really is supposed to be four hours when you think about it, but you're never going to get a group of men who don't know each other to sit down and journal about their most hurtful emotional shit. Holy shit, way to say the quiet part out loud. He acknowledges that the most helpful thing for these guys is addressing their past trauma and that the remaining 71 hours of suffering is just to trick them to sign up. I half respect it, but come on, man. <laughs> Why? Why not just do the actual, the thing? You're actively stigmatizing against the whole group therapy session by making so much of the course about suffering and honestly exposing them to more trauma. Look, this is one of my shorter videos because most of my points from the last video carry over the same for this, but the crux of everything for me is that suffering for the sake of suffering is ultimately pointless. Adversity is great for growth, but it should be adversity that actually meaningfully moves you forward, not just suffering for no fucking reason other than to say you did something hard yet the way they talk about this course is that like you're a bitch if you don't do it nobody lives by a code everybody wants to do the minimum people you know why people don't want to do this because it's hard i guarantee you you had friends that go why the fuck are you doing this your response should be why the fuck aren't you because you're comfortable fucking making 40 to fifty thousand dollars a year going through the basics not pushing yourself people get too complacent Fuck you, Ray Cash Care. Fuck you. People making 40 to 50K a year might be working their fucking asses off, and you're over here making 18 grand a person to berate these broken men. Where do you get off? Go fuck yourself. People don't want to not do the course because it's hard. People don't want to do it because they find it unnecessary. They have enough adversity in their lives. They don't need this fucking bullshit role play on top of it to feel like a bigger man. You guys suck, and I hope no one else falls for your manipulative bullshit. But hey, don't take it from me. Take it from ex-vets who equally think this is silly. I believe most of us military vets are just shaking their heads and thinking, why? As ex-Navy EOD, all I have to say is what the fuck? Didn't know people were paying 15K for this bullshit. As a Marine and law enforcement officer of 22 years, I will say this makes no sense. If your life is so bad, your self-esteem is so low, your drive and desire to better yourself are so low that you need someone to treat you like this to get back on track, good luck. Hashtag scam. For those of you wondering about the guy who allegedly died, I wish I had more information for you, but outside of Jimmy Rex's article, I can't find anything else. I hope that maybe it's just a scare tactic and they just tell all the incoming classes that. Either way, if it's real, then they've done a great job covering it up because I can't find shit. But with that all said... Good day. I'm gonna go shoot off my other dick now. I, I came with two. That's how I was born. I'm a double man. Don't move too slow. Find line between lazy and lose control. They say